I am a serious investor. I don't put my money in the picture of dogs and birds and cats and things like that. I'm very technical. I'm only putting my money in foundational projects with great teams, with great VCs and things like that. Don't talk to me about meme coins. Welcome back. In this video, we'll go through a tier list of meme coins and I will essentially rank them from the ones that I think would do 5 to 10x to the ones that I think would do 100x plus. I believe that meme coins are a narrative in crypto that you cannot neglect. And I will provide you with proper explanation and proper logical thoughts on why it is the way it is. You can choose to neglect or you can choose to understand the rules of the game and play by the rules of the game, capitalizing on them in the process as well. Let's begin. I don't want to persuade you myself. I will use a VC, multimillionaire, the guy who's been in crypto for quite some time, that is making crazy, crazy amount of funds, who is talking to developers on a daily basis. Developers who are actually developing blockchain ecosystem projects. Every coin is a meme coin. Every asset is a meme. BTC is a meme for hard money advocates. Ethereum is a meme for the banking the unbanked idealists. Sol is a meme for the cheapest, fastest, bridgeless application devs. Weave is a meme for those who spontaneously laugh at the hat-wearing dog. Cardano is a meme for those who want to hurt themselves. Stonks are a meme for boomers who believe in cash flow. Just different memes that appeal to different people and have different longevity. Once you see markets through this lens, you will feel a lot better and you will probably outperform. That's essentially the thesis that I'm trying to follow from my end as well. Doesn't matter much what the project is doing, like what type of engineers are there and things like that. And often speaking, projects that you think are legit with proper development teams from Facebook that developing a solution using new development language and things like that, they're just a bubble being pumped up by market makers and early investors of the project. I'm not coming up with these things myself. This is specifically the information that I got from the market makers and people close to the investors into the project. It's very, very important to understand what is happening on the marketplace. Everyone is looking to make money. VCs are not here to innovate, to provide some, some type of technology and things like that. They're here to make money in the first place and all other things, they come secondly, thirdly, and things like that. If each and every project in crypto is not a meme coin, why everything goes down 90% plus in the bear market? How can you answer this question? One more interesting thought. I haven't tweeted publicly about Sui, but internally we think Sui is a strong contender for disrupting the Ethereum Solana duopoly, both of which will remain wildly bullish. Only major area for improvement is their crypto nativeness, e.g. meme game. It's very, very interesting. That's one of the main theses that I have, because imagine you yourself are the founder of the project. You are the founder of certain blockchain, layer one blockchain, right? You probably have early investors that are helping you to sustain your engineering team. You have operations, you have different marketing departments and things like that. And what you want to do is to continue raising funds for your project, for your blockchain, in order to be able to continue the development of the whole thing. Even if it's great, a revolutionary thing and things like that, you still need funds and most likely you are not generating revenue because if you're running like a blockchain layer one, it does not generate revenue in the first place. Maybe fees from the transactions and commission and things like that, but people are looking for cheapest fees right now. What would you do? You also want to make investors happy. They're looking on the volumes that your chain has. They're looking on the development activity and they're making these decisions from their end as well. Whether or not they would want to give you additional money and whether or not they will essentially be able to make ROI, return investment on this money, right? What would you want to do? How can you essentially increase the amount of transactions on the chain, increase the amount of volume, and bring a lot of developers, a lot of engineers into the chain? That's a very, very good question. You would probably think about marketing. You would probably want to tell about your chain to the largest amount of people that can, you can only tell about. You would probably want to tell about your chain to the largest amount of people on the marketplace. How you would do that? Do you want to spend tens of millions of dollars on marketing campaigns, buying influencers and let them talk about your chain, buying some booths on like conferences and stuff? maybe launching a YouTube channel talking about your chain and things like that. It does not feel this lucrative, right? The solution that you might want to take is something that we saw from Solana happening this year. Launch a meme coin. Let your meme coin pump to billions. 
let people know about your chain through MemeCoin. Alex Labs, who is a main DEX on Stacks, they mentioned that the largest amount of activity they got on the chain from people trading Welsh, which is a meme coin on Stacks. That was the largest amount of activity on the largest DEX on the Bitcoin Layer 2 blockchain. Are you following me? Do you understand what is happening? The best tools from marketing point of view, from ROI point of view, so you can input the least and you can take out the most, is basically creating a native meme coin for your chain and pumping this meme coin in order to get transactions, in order to get volume, in order to get people using your chain. Maybe they will be just using it to create other meme coins and things like that, but still, they will figure out the development language, they will figure out the environment, and maybe it would essentially lead into them developing something more on the chain. That basically the main thesis that I have, that the meme coins are very, very useful for the founders of the chain, for the investors of the chain, for essentially people who are behind the curtains working on the whole ecosystem. That's the best type of marketing that you can get for any type of chain. And that's why I'm telling you about these things. You need to understand them. You need to understand what is happening. You need to understand the rules of the game and then you will be able to capitalize on the game as well. Let's go back to our list of meme coins. So in the first place we have Dodge, Pepe and Ship and I basically have these three in the first place in order to make sure that I will talk about them the first. I've also prepared this sophisticated presentation that I spent countless amount of hours on in order to provide you with. That's very, very important. At the top of the presentation, you can see the standard of the token that is being used for each of these meme coins. Dogecoin is a Bitcoin fork. So they basically forked the main blockchain of PTC. They changed some things and they got Dogecoin. Shiba Inu and Pepe, they're essentially standard ERC-20 Ethereum tokens. And this information is very, very important. And later, I will tell you why. We can see that the market cap of Dogecoin is 12 billion at this stage, Pepe 0.5 billion, and Shiba Inu 6 billion at this stage as well. Let us think about the backers, who is essentially backing each meme and what is happening specifically. With Dogecoin, we have Elon Musk, richest man in the world, at least officially, right? And he's backing the token heavily. I do believe he has a large chunk of his money in Dogecoin as well. There is speculation that he will basically introduce Dogecoin essentially as a payment method on Twitter, which will be just crazy. And on top of that, he is launching rockets into the space with Dogecoin logos on top of them. That's, that's just crazy. So like the amount of backing that this thing has, it will definitely run to a certain extent in the bull market. That's very, very easy from that point of view. It's very, very easy to understand that you have the richest man alive, officially at least, pumping this thing and kind of being interested in pumping this thing. This should do very, very well. So following 12 billion market cap currently, I would want to put Dogecoin at 10 to 20x from now. So essentially, I would suggest at the peak of the bull for it to be 120 billion till 240 billion market cap. Probably closer to 100 billion, 120 billion, but we will see. No one knows the future. And the main thesis behind that is because you have this huge backing, huge following. Twitter has like billions of users. If it will be introduced as a payment method on Twitter, it would be just crazy, 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 crazy bullish for the token. Interesting alpha play that you can actually have with Dogecoin is Bitcoin fork. It's here for a reason, right? The fact it's a Bitcoin fork means that implementation of ordinals actually is something of a positive for proof of work chain, which is basically Dogecoin is. And there are already ordinals on Dogecoin, which are called Doginals, DRC20 tokens. They're already NFTs that are specifically on chain and they're connected to Dogecoin in the first place. And there are tokens like meme coins and even copies of DRC20 projects like Track. You basically have hub project in DRC20s that is also an indexer for Doginals, but Track is kind of indexing Doginals as well. But it's a bunch of tech stuff you don't need to hear that. So this is kind of the alpha opportunity that I see right now. And the main thesis here is that once we would be in this surging bull market, Bitcoin will pump and fees for Bitcoin, they will be just crazy. You would have to pay several hundred dollars for transaction on BTC and for transaction in ordinance as well. Therefore, we will have the introduction of Bitcoin layer two, but we don't have like functional, very, very well functioning Bitcoin layer twos at this stage, right? And you will have 
ordinals on Dogecoin, which will be cheap. Therefore, the expectation is that people would essentially be funneled into the ordinals on Dogecoin as well. So it's alpha play. It might play out. It might not play out as well. But the market cap for these things is very, very low. And if you would essentially recall last interview of Elon Musk on Joe Rogan podcast, he mentioned at least put your NFTs on chain. This is very bullish for Dogecoin's from my point of view, because on Dogeinals, you already have NFTs that are actually on chain. These are NFTs on chain for the project that Elon Musk is supporting heavily from his end. And he probably has a large stake in this project as well. My two cents on this, I won't be showing in websites. Check out everything for yourself if you would want. Doji Market is the website where you can check out the NFTs and the tokens that are available in Dogeinals at this stage. Next thing is Pepe. Pepe is Ethereum meme from a narrative that's been around for 15, 20 years already. It's crazy for how much time it's been on the market and it's crazy how well known this meme is in internet culture. It's the coin of this cycle. It never saw a bull market yet and it's at a half billion market cap at this stage. It's already on Robinhood. It's probably going to be launched on Coinbase because the only thing that exchanges like Coinbase they care about is only volumes, nothing else. And Pepe is showing crazy volumes at this stage. I'm very, very bullish on Pepe and I'm very, very bullish on the things that might happen with this token as well. And there is also in comparison of Pepe and Bonk essentially and on Ethereum meme coins and Solana meme coins and things like that. The fact that Pepe would be on Robinhood and Coinbase essentially it removes the commissions. So it's very, very accessible despite the whole token, the whole project being on Ethereum, essentially. I was also showing in the previous video that liquidity on Pepe is basically three times higher than liquidity on Bonk. At the same time, the market cap is three times lower. So Pepe is way larger than Bonk, despite the market cap. You need to understand these things. You need to see things for what they are. We do also have Ethereum ETF trade which will probably be playing out in May of this year, so only in four months from now, which I think will be very, very bullish for Ethereum, which I think will be very, very bullish for Pepe as well. So I would, I would put Pepe to 250 access from here. I do think that it will be reaching 10 billion market cap this cycle. Therefore, essentially, it's going to be 20 access from the current numbers, from the current lows for this token as well. We will see. It, it would be very, very interesting to check out this video in a year from now. It would be very interesting. Shiba Inu is a meme from previous cycle. It's also a ERC20 token. Honestly, I don't know much about Shiba Inu. I think it's a thing from last cycle. I don't think that there are any larger backers. Speaking of Shiba Inu, I think Pepe probably took and will be taking the role of Shiba Inu this cycle. Therefore, I think it will show some numbers, but it's just very, very hard for me to talk on the token. I would want to put it at 5 to 10x, and we will see how well this will essentially age, right? Next thing that we have is Toshi. Toshi is the main meme coin of base network, and we are kind of following the same narrative here, is that there should be a top performing meme coin on each and every chain for this chain in order to be marketed. It's the best type of scenario for the chain to be marketed, just to have native meme coin. Base chain is kind of being viewed as this chain for like rednecks in the US and things like that, which is quite funny by itself, but people hold tokens on base chain very, very nicely. So it's definitely not a larger chain by itself. I would probably want to put it at 10 to 20x, but basically before Dogecoin, just because of the fact that Toshi is quite low market cap at this stage. And Doge, I think, is obviously 12 billion currently. So with Toshi, I think once larger memes like Pepe, they will essentially surge, then they will go sideways. Then people would be looking to kind of redistribute profits, maybe different chains, and definitely Toshi will get get a bunch of liquidity as well. Next thing we have Reds. Reds is very, very interesting. A lot of people are calling Reds Dogecoin of this cycle. I know you don't know much about it. And there is a reason for that is because Reds is actually a token, a BRC20 token. So it's actually on ordinals and it's mostly being pushed by Chinese community. And at the same time, Reds has 200 or 250 million market cap. Imagine this is a meme coin that is only two times smaller than Pepe and you didn't know anything about it. Very, very interesting. So as mentioned, some people think that it's going to be this 
Dogecoin of this cycle, I think with the surge and pump in ordinals, it's going to be very, very well. I think we already have a bull market in China 100% because they're printing money already, which is essentially very, very great and nice for us. I would say for us mainly is the fact on whether or not it will be distributed into the Western community as well. Within Chinese, I think it will pump maybe like from 5 to 20x. If it will essentially be distributed into the West as well, it might go to as high as 20 to 50x from here. With Reds, I think I will be putting this to 10 to 20 axes and B for Toshi and B for Dogecoin as well. I think it's a great, great Pick. By the way, disclaimer on all of these videos, everything that I'm talking about here is very, very degen. These are meme coins. You will probably lose all of your money that you would be investing into these things. So be very, very careful. Next thing we have dog with hat, which is essentially a Solana meme. It has quite a nice market cap at this stage already. It's quite funny meme as well because it's very, very relatable and understandable for normies as well. For retail, it would essentially eventually come into the market as well. But obviously, normies know Pepe way better, essentially the ones who were present in internet culture. But if these are some Instagram girls, they did not spend 6,000 hours playing Dota 2 or League of Legends, they might not know these things, right? And dog we've had will be more relatable to them as well. I think it's actually going to do quite, quite well because it's Solana meme. I do think that it definitely has more potential than Bonk at this stage, but it's hard for me to put it at 20 to 50x. So I would put it here before Reds. I would say it's closer to 20x at this stage. In the football, obviously. Not now, not now. We need to understand these things. Next thing is Cock In, which is basically largest meme on Avax. And some influencers, they were already talking about this meme quite a lot. And I think the same thing is going to happen in the bull cycle as well, because Solana will pump and Avax will essentially follow. And people at Avax, they're not stupid. They understand that the best type of marketing for any blockchain L1 is to pump the meme token. So they would be pumping Avax, Cock Inu, meme token as well. It's very, very straightforward. I think it's going to do quite well and I would put it, um, it's hard. I'm thinking of putting it in between dog with hat and rats or basically before dog with hat. It's hard to do, but I think it's a different chain. But at the same time, if you're buying on centralized exchange, you don't care what type of chain is basically is. So still, I would put it in between dog with hat and rats. I do think it's going to do quite well. Next thing we have is bonk. It might be a controversial opinion, but I don't believe in Bonk. I do think they worked out Bonk already. I do think they will probably try to push new memes as well with lower market cap. The main reason for that is because when you would be pushing Bonk, it's already at 1.5 billion market cap. You would push it 10x. You need a bunch of funds in order to do that. And the only thing that you would be able to say on the marketing is, hey, like it done at 10x. The people would be sending messages in the comments that they would be saying like who's buying meme coins for 10x it's very very low it's not worth it i don't believe in bonk much at this stage i don't think that they will essentially be pushing the project much i would put it at 5 to 10x but obviously before Shiba Inu, so I think it will be outperform Shiba Inu just because of the fact it's a new token of this cycle. It got a bunch of attention to Solana. Solana meme coin trading basically started from Bonk. So very, very interesting by itself. The next thing I have, Boba. You know my opinion on Boba. It's probably going to be 100x. From my point of view, obviously Pepe needs to perform. Very, very important condition for Boba is that it's only going to do well if Pepe will perform. If Pepe will not perform, Bobo will not do well as well. It's very, very easy. It's very, very straightforward. But I think that once Pepe will search, we will go sideways on Pepe. Profits from Pepe, they would essentially be redistributed into Bobo. I think it's very, very straightforward. I think that their teams are quite connected. They have nice level of connection in terms of pushing the same token on the exchanges, using the same level of connections as Pepe essentially worked out and has at this stage. So I think it's a very, very great and interesting pick. Last but not least is probably one of the most digit things on this list, which is essentially Rido, Resistance Dog. It's a meme coin on Ton blockchain. It's also a dog meme coin. And if you know, dog meme coins are meta right now. If you would check out Bonk, Dogecoin, with crazy level of analytics, we are making investment decision based on the pictures of animals. This is what world came down to, right? 
So why I like Rido? I like it because we will soon have an airdrop of not coin into a blockchain, which will definitely add liquidity into the whole blockchain, which will essentially result in the fact that people, they would be looking where they can put these funds on the blockchain. And as mentioned, I think there are no idiots in Telegram team. Therefore, they would essentially be looking to use this marketing method and pump the token of the chain. The only issue I have is whether or not they would essentially choose to pump resistance doc. Because if there are some insiders inside the token, that would be great. But if not, they might just choose to pump a different token and they can just create it like right away in no time, in a couple of seconds, right? So this is something very, very important. But I do also like the narrative behind this thing because I was the user of the products of Pavel Durov since like 20 years ago, most likely. And I know this picture of the dog very, very well. It's something that is drawn by Pavel Durov himself. So it's very, very great narrative for a meme. And the fact that it's essentially also a dog meme coin and the fact that it's also native to Ton, which is probably going to do very, very well because you have a billion plus users and crazy things might happen in the bull cycle, depending on what are the things that they would essentially be doing with the blockchain. Very risky play. I would say it's either all or nothing case. I don't want to put it at 100x. I don't know. I, I want to be safe here. I would put it at 20 to 50x. But obviously, if everything will go as planned and if Telegram team will decide to pump this token, it's 100x plus. It's easy 100x plus just because of the fact it's only 2 million at this stage. Now, we also have things like Mog, which is essentially the meme coin on Ethereum. is, And this meme coin is around election in the US this year. So I think it will do very, very well. I think it's, I think it will go to 1 billion this year around the election, closer to the election, right? But then it will probably go to zero after the election time. So Mock is something very, very interesting as well. In terms of other meme coins, I think I covered most of them from my end. We also have Welsh, which is the main meme coin on stacks, kind of like first meme coin, but you can also argue that it might be Reds as well, but Welsh is quite old. Welsh is definitely older than Reds as well, but Welsh has like way lower market cap in comparison to Reds. So this is probably it from my end. I hope you understood the thesis. I hope you understood that these are the things that are very, very convenient for the founders of the blockchains in order to use them as marketing, as development activity. And this is the thing to make their investors happy and continue to raise in additional rounds to continue essentially the developments on the blockchains and in the ecosystems as well. Thank you very much for watching this video. Like and subscribe if you like this professional professional analysis of pictures of animals on the screens that you can actually invest your money into. Very, very professional analysis that we all need at this stage. Thank you very much and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.